What's up, guys? I uh, just got to jump in here at the beginning real quick. It's not an ad. I promise you it's not an ad. I uh, just want to walk you through the video you're about to see. Is It's actually from, like, March. I just never finished it, never put it up. And there's some things that I just, like, jump to that, like, kind of don't really make sense. It's just, like, I'll be working on the headlights, and then I jump to, like, the intake. I just, I never finished filming because everything that was going on. A few of you guys asked to see that footage, so here it is. It's just me doing like headlights, wheel wells, bumper, um, I'm polishing the intake. Again, oh yeah, all the plastic bits and rubber bushings and everything. So getting back to it. I promise you, it's going to get done. You just got to stick with me. All right, guys. So enjoy this old footage that just jumps around all over the place. All right, boys, back at it. Just got to keep chugging along. I guess I can put the headlights back in. Oh, I could put the like bumper back on. Oh, I gotta clean the wheel wells. Oh yeah, I could put the shroud back in. Get those cleaned up. I'm not gonna put those back in there completely filthy like that. Oh, I gotta clean these vents. I'm gonna end up cleaning and probably repainting the subframe. I'll probably paint those uh those bumper brackets. Probably just hit them with a red Brillo pad and then hit them with a coat of black spray paint. I can clean this up so I can put that back on. Oh yeah, I can clean this up. I actually would like to get like a different one. Like, how, it'd be cool to have like a metal overflow tank. Cause I don't know how clean I'm gonna be able to get that. Even if I hit it with a Brillo pad, I mean it's just gonna be scratched up, I don't know. I just want everything to be perfect. You know how much easier it'd be if you could just order all this stuff new? Like if there's just a website where you'd be like, just give me all the engine bay brackets. Firewall, leave it down in the comments what you guys think I should do. That thing, there's no way I'm putting that back in. Should I try to find one of those? If one of you guys know where I can get one of those, leave it down in the comments. Or should I just get like that gold tape? You think I should just get like that gold tape and put it across there and cut out the bolt holes and shit? You guys know I'm a big fan of this. I've used this to pretty much clean every car's interior every little piece with purple power works pretty good but i also got this i got this for the engine bay but it ended up not coming in time and by the time it showed up i didn't need it i'm gonna try that in a couple of spots see how it goes i don't want to have to end up using this whole bottle if i can just use a, a half a cup of this and a bucket of water and it works just as good on all the big areas It worked pretty good actually. Just put a drop on that rag. It goes a long way. I right, I'm just gonna take these outside and clean them up with the hose and I I'm just gonna clean them. I don't think you guys need to sit here and watch me clean shit, do you? This shit actually works great, that tar remover. I gotta get underneath a good light. This side I did. Just that face right there. And that's how it looked. This tar remover works great. That thing looks brand new. Except for in between those letters, I'm gonna have to get in there with like a toothbrush. This is the rubber strip that goes along the top right here, where the hood sits right there on those pins. And they obviously, they didn't take it off when they painted, which really sucks. I don't know if you guys can see. It's all like that, all through that groove. I don't know, I'm gonna clean the best way I can, and then I'm gonna put it on backwards, so the part that's painted is in the back, so you can't see it, hopefully. I don't know. It is just a piece of rubber with holes in it. Or one of these like door jam things with holes in the bottom of it. I might be able to get another one. Alright, some came out better than I thought it was. Some came out worse than I thought it would. This strip came out really good actually. This came out really good. Except for that you can see where they got overspray. I repainted this engine bay before. They didn't take this out. Or whatever it came out a lot better i don't think you actually see any of that actually i know you don't you don't see any of that you just see this bottom lip that which came out excellent you only see that part which came out looking pretty much like new these wheel wells came out but not as good as i was hoping especially this one this one's just got all that white i don't know i can't get that out but whatever it's a wheel well cover Oh yeah, this came out really good. Like, 
I gotta get something to help clean out the inside. Like that spot right there, that dark spot, that's like old antifreeze stuck to the side. But everything else looks pretty good. It sits in there like this, so. And then these came out the worst. These are a lot worse than I thought they were because there's paint all over the fucking place. See, you're gonna see all that shit. So I don't know, I'm gonna get on, I don't even know what to call these. I'm gonna see if I can find these. I'm so glad I covered up the threads. Putting this rubber back on is not as easy as it was to take it off. All right, it's on there. I ended up flipping it around so you wouldn't see any paint. Since the other side's got overspray on it from the guy before. I don't know what these are called either. So, if you guys know where to buy these, leave that link down there below too. Pretty much if you know where to get any of this shit, just put it down in the comments and I'll buy new. I, I ended up just setting all of these at 7 8 for right now. I have no idea where they're supposed to be. I don't remember. I probably should have measured them before I took them out. But, whatever. Let's see if the hood closes or not. That's just to support the hood, right? Keep the hood tight. I, I actually forgot about these. I don't remember what they went to. Honestly, I don't even remember breaking them off. I actually just seen them. These go in there for the bumpers. And these two bolts are both broke off in there. I can't get pliers on either one of them. This one's pretty much flush. So... I'm gonna start drilling them. So that's all that's left of that bolt. Pretty much just drilled it all out until it just fell apart inside of there. I can definitely fix those threads if I need to. I don't even remember what bolts onto that. What I was planning on doing with this was actually to go bigger and then just put a nut and bolt through there if I needed to hold something on. But me just going up, the bolt ended up just falling apart, falling inside on itself, so. The threads are actually still pretty good. All right, this one didn't go as planned, but it's out, so. But all right, I'm gonna clean these up. I'm gonna sand them, I'm gonna paint them. Um, I think you guys have seen me do enough sanding, right? Um, I really need to stop this whole carrying so much about shit you don't see, because I mean, it's all day. I spent all day cleaning up that shit that you don't see and painting those. Like, who cleans up wheel wells? Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Alright, well, I'll be back out here tomorrow. I'll see you in a second. Alright, gotta run those parts to my buddy so he can sandblast them. I'm gonna take the Mercedes today. It hasn't been starting over a month. Let's roll down these windows. Get that fuel pump rolling. Alright, I'm going to let this thing warm up for like, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. I'll see you guys back in here when I'm going down the street. Alright, I just dropped all that shit off in my buddies. I always forget how much I love this car. Especially when you get it all buttoned up right. Like, you put it, you put the engine in sport. You put the handle in in sport. You put the suspension in comfort. And this thing is just a monster. I love this car. It's comfortable and it'll fucking beat half the shit on the street. These actually came out really good. These came out a lot better than I thought they would. I'm gonna put those in, put that bumper on. How weird is it that I'm sitting here thinking, I'm debating on if I should cut a gasket to go in there so I don't scratch the paint. Cause I got that cord gasket shit. All right, I got the bumper all back together. And then I'm sitting here trying to put this shroud back in. Don't you love doing shit twice? Sometimes three times for no goddamn reason. I took the bumper off so I could get the shroud in and make sure it was all lined up nice. I was going to use new tabs. And then I realized after I got everything tight, I won't be able to put the bar in and the horns on with the shroud in. So just wasted 25 minutes of my life. Just trying to sit here and think of what else I can put on while I'm sitting here waiting for the engine and all my brackets and shit to come back. All right, what's up guys? Got to pretty much make up for yesterday. Yesterday was pretty much a wash. Never ended up putting the wheel liners in. 
I don't even know if any of that will be in this video. Gotta put those wheel liners in, and I just gotta keep chugging along. I just gotta keep buttoning up everything. I still gotta put this dash back together. I ended up just plugging the wires in and then quitting on that. This is all got to be buttoned up. A few of you guys really, really, really want me to take this tape off. I haven't just left it on because I don't have to worry about scratching the fenders. Like, I can just lean up against this now. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because the whole car is going to get painted once I'm done. But, I don't know. I might take the tape off today. And might take the tape off and the plastic off. I'm going to clean this up the best I can. I probably should have taken that part off right here. And had my buddy paint it, but it's not that bad. It sits up top. It's not like it's all rusty or anything. So I'm cleaning it up the best I can, get all this dust off of it. Alright, I don't know how much one of these are, but if you're trying to redo yours, oh, this whole thing just comes apart. I started putting it all back together already. You just take this off, you can get this case real good. Take these off, you can get all that plastic real good. These bushings come out, you can clean that shit all real good. I just been sitting here scrubbing the shit with a toothbrush. But, I just remembered, I'm not going to be able to hook this up. Because I put those plastic things back in. So now I gotta get that out without chipping the paint. That's fucking exciting. Woo, that came out a lot easier than I thought I was going to. It's like playing Operation. You guys remember that Operation board game? That's what this shit's like working in here. I don't know what to do. I wish I had an easy out. I mean, I guess I can put a drill through it a bit. And then try to tap the rest of the bolt out. I mean, I guess I can drill it and try to make the bolt collapse into itself like I did on the bumper things. Need easy out. Because they go in reverse, right? I don't know what the fuck to do now. I gotta get that out of there. There it goes. Holy shit. Talk about luck. Look at that. Who needs an easy out? Fucking easy out. You don't need no goddamn easy out. Alright, let's move on to something else. I guess I can clean this. Alright, so that works. It's pretty much like Neverdoll. I'm not gonna do it all with that. that those scratches are a little too much for me. Probably wouldn't notice them after you polish it enough, but I'm gonna end up going over it again with just a steel wool. All right, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Just so I'm not sitting here scrubbing all day, I was just gonna use this. Blue isn't doing shit. This should be something like a thousand grit. I think it's thousand to twelve hundred. I just looked up. You just hit a little bit of spot with final wipe, and then you can just see all the shit that comes off of it. Pretty much working like Neverdoll, which I don't have, and it's not like I can just go buy it. And then I end up hitting it with this to get all those little scratches out. Yeah, look at that, dude. That's amazing. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but these two I've done. These ones have not been done. This one's kind of done. That was kind of like my test runner. Hey, right, I gotta get some gloves or something on. This is ridiculous. Man, I always forget that I got a Dremel. I'm like 90% of the way through. I just gotta get in these. I'm like, how the hell am I gonna get in those? And I'm like, I got a Dremel. What the fuck am I doing? I've never polished anything with a Dremel, so I really don't know what I'm doing. This is what came with the Dremel. I'm pretty sure you just like put one of these wheels on there. And then this is polished shit, right? Yeah, it says polishing compound right there. And I'm pretty sure you just run the screw through this and you can polish with this. All right, this is good as it's gonna get. I got about two hours in it, and I remembered that I hate chrome. I've always hated chrome. I don't know why I just spent so much time cleaning this. I really just want it powder coated now. I don't know what my problem is with chrome. I just, no matter how nice you get it, it always looks like it's fake almost, doesn't it? Like, it looks like it's made out of plastic. With like that cheap, shiny plastic shit. Alright, a bunch of you guys keep wanting me to take this tape off. I was gonna leave the tape on. Take it off just for you guys.
did pretty good getting underneath that windshield. Pretty impressed with myself on that. I got the plastic and the tape off just for you guys. Stop asking me. I wanted to keep all that plastic on so I didn't have to use one of these. To put the engine and shit back in, but whatever. Whatever makes you guys happy. You guys all got some weird fetishes. You guys are all weird like me. You guys liked watching the VIN tag get on taped. You guys got your rocks off. I get it. I like watching people weld. <laughs> I got a little bit of overspray up under there. Like I said, this whole car is going to be painted. Oh yeah, look, you can see perfect right there. That's what the engine bay used to be. This is the car. That's the right color. And that's what the whole car will be. I was gonna start putting these lights in, but I gotta clean them. This is gonna drive me nuts. This is gonna be the death of me. Just all this dust on everything. I can't put that in there like that. I just, I can't do it. So I'm gonna scrub these lights before I put them in, I guess. Why can't I just put shit together like everyone else? You guys think I should see a therapist? <laughs> Alright, these are all pretty well cleaned up. This is super nerve wracking. You actually see this once it's in the car. <clears throat> so I am gonna clean this up. Alright, I kinda just wet sanded that just to get the overspray and shit off from the hacks before. There is a nice line of overspray on the corner of this and it was driving me nuts. So I just got some wet sandpaper and hit it and got it all off. So at least it'll look nice in there because you see this if the hood's popped. All right, there we go. Headlights are in. Starting to look like a car again. So excited. Can't stop looking at it. Shit is amazing. This car is so sexy. I forgot how sexy it was. It's been covered in plastic for two months. Not two months. It's been covered in plastic for a month. So sexy. Especially with them pop-up headlights. Alright, I'm going to end this video probably. Because I'm just going to sit here and stare at it the rest of the night. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. I love this car. More than a die for this shit. I'm ready to flip and I end up in prison the rest of my life for this shit. So my mama ain't want me, she got in the bush and I end up surviving this shit. And if I want to sign, I ain't got the money, I'll probably be robbing this shit. Don't know how much I cry for this shit.